The Great Pyramid contains 2.3 million stone blocks, some weigh 15 tons, built with impossible precision 4,500 years ago. How? Archaeologists have proposed dozens of theories. Engineers have run countless experiments. Scientists have tested every hypothesis they can imagine. And yet, the mystery remains unsolved. Today, we're counting down every possible explanation, from the most accepted to the most unthinkable. 23 theories. One impossible construction project. The answer might shock you. Theory number 23. The Rolling Log Revolution. For over a century, engineers have wondered, how do you move a 15-ton block of limestone across desert sand? The answer might be hiding in plain sight, wooden logs creating an endless conveyor belt of stone. As blocks move forward, workers relocate logs from behind to front. The ancient Egyptians imported thousands of cedar logs from Lebanon for ships. Why not use them for pyramids? This method explains how small crews could move enormous blocks with minimal friction using simple engineering and plenty of wood. Evenly beneath the stone. Heave, brothers. Pull together. Sometimes the most revolutionary ideas are the simplest ones. Theory number 22. The precision cutting conspiracy. In 2024, laser measurements revealed something impossible. Pyramid blocks fit together with gaps smaller than human hair. How do you achieve this precision with copper tools? The precision cutting theory suggests Egyptians mastered advanced techniques we're rediscovering today. They used copper saws with abrasive sand, sophisticated measuring tools, and ancient quality control with master craftsmen approving each block. Ancient Egyptian stonework wasn't just impressive, it was impossibly accurate. Theory number 21. The Seasonal Flood Strategy Every year, the Nile performed a miracle that modern engineers barely appreciate. During flood season, boats reached within hundreds of meters of Giza. What if Egyptians timed construction around this annual event? This theory suggests pyramid building was a dance with nature. Flood season, transport blocks by boat. Dry season, move stockpiled blocks into position. Recent harbor discoveries at Giza support this theory. The pyramids weren't just engineering feats, they were masterpieces of logistics and timing. Theory number 20. The Copper Tool Mastery In 2023, archaeologists discovered something shocking. Industrial-scale copper production at pyramid sites. Not just a few tools, but thousands of copper implements, manufactured specifically for construction. Environmental evidence shows copper pollution rivaling modern industrial sites. The Egyptians developed advanced metallurgy, copper alloys, and heat treatment processes. They weren't a primitive civilization. They were an industrial powerhouse with sophisticated manufacturing capabilities. Theory number 19. The Organized Workforce Revolution Picture the largest construction project in history, coordinated without computers or radios. Recent excavations revealed the world's first mega-project management system. Egyptians built entire cities for workers, supply chains across the known world, and management hierarchies that would impress modern executives. Specialized teams handled different tasks with their own housing and management. The workforce wasn't just large, it was brilliantly organized with systems enabling monuments that still amaze us today. Theory number 18. The Lever and Fulcrum Genius Sometimes the most powerful technologies are the simplest ones. Ancient Egyptians used basic physics to achieve extraordinary results. Wooden levers and strategic fulcrum points let small teams lift massive blocks step by step. But this wasn't brute force. They understood mechanical advantage centuries before it was formally described. Evidence includes wear marks matching lever contact points and wooden tools that served as levers. They had perfect understanding of basic physics principles. Theory number 17. The zigzag ramp solution. For decades, engineers struggled. How do you build ramps steep enough to be practical, but gentle enough to climb? The zigzag solution uses switchback ramps that zigzag up pyramid sides, maintaining manageable slopes while reducing total ramp length needed. This required sophisticated planning with calculated turning points and support structures. It solved the fundamental problem getting blocks to the top without building ramps longer than the pyramids themselves. Ancient engineers thought like modern engineers. Theory number 16. 
the concrete revolution. In 1988, a French chemist made a shocking claim. Pyramid blocks weren't carved stone. They were cast concrete. Ancient Egyptians developed early concrete using limestone, clay, lime, and water. Instead of transporting massive blocks, they mixed concrete on-site and cast blocks in place. Microscopic analysis reveals air bubbles and compositions more consistent with concrete than limestone. If true, they invented concrete thousands of years before the Romans. The greatest mystery might not be moving blocks, but that there were no blocks to move. Theory number 15. The acoustic resonance design in 2019, acoustic engineers made a startling discovery. Pyramid chambers weren't just burial rooms, they were precision-tuned acoustic instruments. The chambers, passages, and overall shape were calculated for specific sound effects. Acoustic properties might have tested structural integrity, coordinated crews, or assisted block placement during construction. The pyramids weren't just architectural marvels. They were sophisticated acoustic instruments manipulating sound in ways we're only beginning to understand. Theory number 14, the water-assisted transport. What if the key wasn't fighting water but using it? Egyptians used water to reduce friction during transport. Temporary channels or flooding construction areas could float blocks or dramatically reduce moving effort. Water reduces friction so dramatically that blocks requiring hundreds of people on dry land might be moved by dozens in water. Recent discoveries show sophisticated water management systems at pyramid sites. Instead of fighting challenges, they used water's natural properties to make the impossible possible. Theory number 13, the spiral wrap around ramp. In the 1990s, archaeologist Mark Lenner proved something remarkable. He built a small pyramid using spiral ramps wrapping around the exterior. Instead of straight ramps, Egyptians constructed spirals maintaining consistent slope angles while providing access to all sides. Lenner demonstrated this was practical, ramps built with pyramid materials and dismantled as construction progressed. This explains building pyramids without ramps longer than the structures themselves. Ancient engineers solved fundamental challenges with elegant, practical solutions. Theory number 12, the straight external ramp system. Sometimes the obvious solution is correct. Egyptians built long straight ramps alongside pyramids and dragged blocks up using ropes, sledges, and human power. Archaeological evidence supports this. Ramp remains found at multiple sites. But here's what's remarkable. The scale. For the Great Pyramid, straight ramps would be over a mile long, requiring more material than the pyramid itself. Egyptians undertook construction projects of unimaginable scale, building entire landscapes to support pyramid construction. Theory number 11, the hydraulic lift revolution. In 2024, engineers proposed something impossible. Ancient Egyptians built the world's first hydraulic elevator. The hydraulic theory suggests water-powered systems lifted stones through internal chambers using Nile flooding cycles. Flood season filled chambers floating blocks upward. Dry season drained water leaving blocks at higher levels. The step pyramid's internal structure could have functioned as a hydraulic system. If true, Egyptians invented powered lifting 4,500 years before the Industrial Revolution. Push it down now. Theory number 10, the counterweight system. What if Egyptians discovered making heavy things light? Counterweight theory suggests pulleys and counterweight systems dramatically reduced human effort. Like modern cranes, heavy counterweights balance lifted blocks. Workers only overcome the weight difference. Evidence includes possible pulley anchor points and counterweight stones at sites. This would mean Egyptians understood mechanical advantage, principles centuries before Archimedes. Ancient engineers weren't just strong, they were smart, using physics to multiply human capability. Theory number nine, the internal ramp mystery. In 2007, French architect Jean-Pierre Houdin changed everything with 3D modeling suggesting internal spiral ramps transported blocks to upper levels. External ramps for the bottom third, internal spirals for upper sections. This eliminated massive external ramps while providing pyramid peak access. Scan pyramids discoveries support this. 
internal voids and passages that could be ramp remnants. If true, the pyramid was designed as a construction machine with built-in ramp systems. The Great Pyramid isn't just a monument. It's a 4,500-year-old engineering manual written in stone. Theory number eight, the biological construction army. What if the greatest workforce in history wasn't human at all? The biological army theory suggests ancient Egyptians domesticated and trained massive animals, specifically for pyramid construction. Not just oxen and donkeys, but creatures we can't imagine today. Recent DNA analysis of pyramid sites has revealed genetic material from unknown large mammals. Some researchers believe Egyptians bred giant versions of existing animals or maintained species that went extinct shortly after construction. These biological machines could have moved blocks weighing tons with ease. The theory explains how relatively small human populations accomplished impossible construction tasks. They had an army of purpose-bred construction animals. Theory number seven, the electromagnetic lifting hypothesis. In the 1990s, researchers investigated something impossible. Could ancient Egyptians understand electromagnetic forces? Some limestone contains iron-rich minerals responding to magnetic fields. If Egyptians created strong electromagnetic fields, they might have reduced block weight during construction. Some pyramid stones exhibit unusual magnetic properties. Ancient Egyptians were sophisticated metallurgists understanding mineral properties. This represents the boundary between archaeology and speculative science. If true, they discovered physics principles not formally understood until the 19th century. Theory number six, the quantum entanglement construction. In 2023, quantum physicists proposed the most radical theory yet. Ancient Egyptians may have discovered quantum entanglement. Quantum entanglement allows particles to be instantly connected across vast distances. If Egyptians understood this principle, they could have entangled quarry stones with their final pyramid positions. This would mean blocks weren't physically transported. They were quantum teleported from quarries directly into place. The precision of pyramid construction suddenly makes sense if blocks materialized exactly where needed. While purely theoretical, quantum entanglement explains impossible construction speeds and perfect block placement that defies conventional physics. Theory number five, the lost civilization legacy. What if pyramids weren't built by the Egyptians we know from history? This theory suggests advanced pre-dynastic civilizations possessed superior technology. Historical Egyptians inherited and maintained pyramids as sacred sites but didn't build them. Proponents cite incredible precision, advanced mathematical knowledge, and lack of evolutionary evidence in building techniques. This explains why earliest pyramids are most sophisticated and techniques seem to decline over time. How did a civilization that just invented the wheel create the most precise stone structures in history? Theory number four, the anti-gravity technology. Brace yourself for a theory challenging everything about ancient capabilities. Anti-gravity theory suggests Egyptians possessed technology manipulating gravitational forces, making massive blocks weightless during construction. Using scientific principles, we're discovering through electromagnetic field manipulation. Proponents cite impossible precision, massive block weights, and legends about objects floating during construction. While scientifically unsupported, this represents the ultimate explanation. If you make stones weightless, moving them becomes trivial. Our ancestors may have achieved technological capabilities we're still trying to understand. Theory number three, the temporal displacement method. What if ancient Egyptians didn't build the pyramids in the past, but in the future? Temporal displacement theory suggests Egyptians discovered time manipulation allowing them to construct pyramids in accelerated time bubbles where years of work happened in days. This explains impossible construction speeds and why no intermediate construction stages exist in the archaeological record. Workers entered temporal fields where time moved differently, completing massive construction projects in what appeared to be impossibly short periods. Quantum mechanics suggests time dilation is possible. If Egyptians mastered temporal manipulation, they could have built monuments that seem to defy the constraints of human labor and ancient technology. Theory number two, 
the extraterrestrial assistance. Prepare for the theory, captivating imaginations for decades. Extraterrestrial assistance suggests pyramids were built with help from advanced alien civilizations visiting ancient Earth. The precision, scale, and sophistication exceed ancient human capabilities. Proponents cite celestial alignments, construction precision rivaling modern capabilities, and ancient texts describing gods descending from sky. This theory gained mainstream attention through chariots of the gods and ancient aliens. While lacking scientific evidence, it offers simple explanation for the impossible. If humans couldn't build pyramids alone, maybe they had help from advanced beings. Theory number one, the interdimensional construction. Welcome to the most mind-bending theory ever proposed. Interdimensional theory suggests ancient Egyptians accessed technologies manipulating space, time, and dimensional boundaries during construction. Massive blocks weren't moved through normal space. They were transported through higher dimensions where normal physics don't apply. This explains impossible precision, seemingly impossible construction timeframes, and aspects that continue defying explanation. Ancient Egyptians possessed dimensional physics knowledge we're discovering through quantum mechanics. While purely speculative, this represents the ultimate explanation. If normal physics can't explain construction, maybe builders weren't constrained by normal physics? The greatest mystery isn't how they were built, but that they may have used reality principles we don't yet understand.